Well, Ine, thanks for your time just before you get on the coach for what will probably be a pretty happy journey back. 4-1 away, Notts County, doesn't get much better than that, does it? 100% the journey has got to be much sweeter going back, obviously, with a 4 and victory. At the start, um, it was a bit tough, obviously, getting to grips with what they were doing because the fullbacks were coming in in the centre mid, so we had to get to grips with the game. But the most important thing is we kept the score down at 1-0. And at, even though um, they were pressing us, we still had some chances. We, should have, we had a disallowed goal that should have been a goal. Obviously, the refs haven't been with us the last few games, but we knew that. Just don't worry about the refs. As long, as long as we do what we can do, we'll score goals, and that's what happened. I mean, it was a cagey first half, wasn't it? And it, it's it sort of it felt a bit like cat and mouse, really. Both sides trying to look for an opening, and then they they just found that little bit of magic to sort of create a nice opening for themselves. Yeah, no, of course. I know Ruben. He's a very good player. Obviously, if you can find him in the pockets, he's got to do stuff, and he normally likely gets a goal. Obviously, that was our mistake, but. After that, we shored up, we changed our formation and it helped us massively because we was getting the press on, we knew when to go at the correct times and everyone was working as a unit. Everyone's sprinting back after each other. If someone's out of position, the next person's sprinting back through and that's what we need in this team togetherness. Even if it's not your position to do that, we do it for the team and get back in. Yeah, I mean, that's something we've seen this week. Well, we've seen all season, but particularly this week, the sort of the team togetherness and and that once we get our tails up, we can be a bit relentless, really. Yeah, 100%. Most teams, obviously, when they get a goal here, they'll sit back. But I was saying, listen, we're not doing that here. We're pressing on. These are gone here, so we're definitely going to press on. And that's what we kept doing. It was, fair, it was, it was fearless. And they didn't expect that. Most teams, they probably expect to sit back when they get a goal. But we just kept on being relentless, and they're just going to handle it. And, I mean, when you play a team that you've been at before, does that give a... Little, I mean, obviously you don't want to glow, but does that give a little bit more satisfaction that you scored against one of your own sides? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, obviously, you like to score against your own side. It wasn't, it wasn't the best of times here when I was here, but obviously we just get on with it and just show that we see what what I could have done when I was here at the time and just do it in a different team. Yeah, and and so and it was not only you but Talbon as well. Of course, scored was here and scored a couple of goals, so it was a good a good day for the ex ex Notts County boys. But what we saw towards the end as well was that you know. New players can be brought on and can change things. Like Tyreek came on and just brought something that little bit different. And mm-hmm. it, it's great to have a squad where, you know, I'm, I've been around the squad a little bit. And even though, you know, not everybody's getting a start every week, I, I haven't picked up any sort of negatives or down. It's just people are just, it's, there's a great squad spirit, isn't there? Yeah, 100%. That's, that's, that's what you need in the changing room. There's so much togetherness. Like when someone's playing a person's position, no one wants them to do badly. We know that we've got a good team and everyone's, that's what you need. You need people that come on, change the game again, you know what I mean, do what the last person has done, if not better. And that's what it is. You need competition for patience. That's what we have. We've got Tariq coming on. He's done brilliant when he come on. It was just attackful, like just getting us up the pitch again. That's what you need, fresh legs. And we've got a great togetherness and it shows today. And just like a, a personal question in terms of, you know, you were at Woking before, what, three or four years ago, and then, you you know, back again. You know, would you say, how would you say your game's developed in those three or four years? Um, obviously, I'm more experienced. Obviously, I know the league from the inside out now, and I know, obviously, it's to help the young lads out, obviously, like Tav and stuff, because I remember when I was his age, and then I had someone else helping me out, obviously, which was quite experienced. And then, so now it's my turn to obviously help him out. He's getting his goals, and I'm happy for him. I just want to do the most for the team to help out the team because my game's adapted where I'm the vocal, vocal point but at the same time I'm getting back in working hard I mean doing a lot for the team and I take that responsibility for myself and I like I like doing that you know what I mean if it's helping people get spaces and making people move and you know what I mean if, the threat, if they think that I'm going to be the target and then gives other people space that's, that's, what, that's what I'm going to do for the team on top of obviously trying to get some goals as well <laughs> and on that I mean I, obviously getting another goal is great for yourself but I did comment you know in the commentary that you know once it got to sort of managing the game and running it down you were back in defence you know you were chasing down all over the pitch really yeah, that's, so. that's what it needs you know what I mean we watched our videos of the game the other day and we saw how much hard work we've done when we're getting back under, yeah. getting um, behind the ball because they're just going side to side we can deal with that that's not going to affect us and that's what we've done we make sure we get our numbers back on the ball and then when we hit their counter attack we sure it was deadly so it was good so on to Dagenham then Grimsby I mean Grimsby scored six today Dagenham I think lost today but they, they, they're flying high as well so it's going to be another I mean these are the weeks you want to play isn't it yeah 100% really? it's going to be another tough game like I said goals in this league are flying in left right and centre it's, it's ridiculous I haven't seen it for this like this for years so it's basically the best team that's got the best defence it's yeah. probably going to shore up and do well in this league and that's what we're trying to do trying to keep our goal conceded against low and score as much as possible <laughs> and brilliant. that's what we're doing brilliant well thanks for your time Nick. great journey have a great journey home and we'll see you well 
loads of us will see on Tuesday and uh, we'll get the place no, I appreciate it. Special mention to the fans, obviously, they were brilliant today. They came out in numbers, they never stopped singing, even when we were on or down. And obviously, they really spurred us on, so yeah, really appreciate it to the fans. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks a lot.